What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to practice on mechanical dagger weapon from Runkin game. And I would like to tell more about the process, about my painting steps, gem material, how I play with extra colors and I think it will be interesting to look again and again. Let's enjoy the practice. Let's start to watch and uh, first I begin to do the base structure using our inner uh, material with quad stylized material is still not uh, shared with you sorry for this we still have time for this but uh, I, I promise uh, we will do that and it will be for free uh, and this material it's not it's not very hard no uh, and the main scene uh, we, we, we will share with you the base checks we already made so uh, sorry for for not share the smart material but it's very simple one and the main goal for this first step is, is uh, to make the textures and uh, first thing you have to uh, check is to make your textures uh, not monochromatic no uh, so not f uh, with only if your metal is blue uh, please uh, add uh, to uh, this uh, texture some uh, extra uh, hue colors you know uh, some extra hue so if it's a blue color you can add uh, some like uh, uh, yellow lighting or some uh, reddish uh, shadow very soft you no know? so uh, the first very important thing for the base textures is to add extra colors so uh, just check my gray metal uh, it look it has uh, two uh, color no uh, it has some extra color like a reddish like uh, rust no but it's not about the rust it's like about the extra color uh, if you if you don't know what the color is logically the the best for this case you have just try some extra colors because uh, we speak right now about artistic action like uh, about art, some artistic um, not about the logic, no. So if you, you you have to make it beautiful in any case. And when we moved to the uh, to the code, uh, as I said in as I say in every my video, sorry for repeating it. Uh, I, I have the first the first my step is to uh, uh, to make the base like polish of the base texture. Uh, the, the polish of the base texts and uh, uh, I do three things it's um, contact shadows I think and I play with edge thickness I do them thinner or more like expand them uh, so or make it disappear and uh, one more thing I play with material no so I paint some extra details on that uh, and no lighting then the second uh, the second my way is uh, to play with some uh, lighting, some highlights and I split uh, work with highlights on three scenes. It's very important to split some, uh, your, if you have some hard task, it's very important to split into uh, more simpler uh, tasks to make, no, just to make it easier for you. So I split it to uh, three points. Uh, my uh, highlights first it's um, it's enhancing my edges or some focus uh, places uh, so I just uh, enhance my base uh, polish textures by enhancing my edges no? then I paint some local lighting what what's local lighting if you have some element like this cylindrical scene uh, you can you can um, paint some lighting on the top of the cylindric and some shadow you know so it's a local lighting it's a local shadow uh, and it, I, I name it i call this scene like a local uh, 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 lighting like that and the short scene is to paint uh, to paint some global lighting when you characters um, like has some gradient from the top like shadow gradient from uh, bottom uh, point uh, to the uh, top so it's like global lighting and i split 
I split uh, this uh, step uh, to three points and every point I paint um, I advise you to paint not in a single layer uh, if you made some uh, work uh, with the lighting and you like it please uh, uh, create a new layer and uh, uh, paint in in that also if you if you do some experiments just to do not lose your previous work no when you have to remove uh, your painting and you remove already cool uh, already cool lighting because you match it with your experiments So in this video I worked uh, with um, uh, gems uh, and uh, the main rule for painting the cool gem is, is to find a nice reference and personally it's my advice uh, you, you can do your own way uh, I find the reference how to find it I'm looking for some uh, UI UX. it's a small image and the artists have to make very beautiful image in very small in very small picture and it uses uh, a lot of his artistic uh, skills to make it perfect. And uh, so you can uh, study UI UX pictures, uh, UI pictures and uh, study how he painted. And the gem, it has a very deep shadow. It has uh, three rules. It has very deep shadow. Uh, it has very bright uh, highlight and it has some gradients. You know, uh, also I enhance, uh, emphasize my texts, my gem texts uh, by uh, adding some stylized, you know, a transition between uh, lighting and shadow, but uh, it's just uh, my, my own, uh, it's like my own decision. So the first, uh, the main, the main thing is to paint dark shadow, uh, very, uh, um, a very bright highlight and some gradients to show the shape of this gem. If you paint local lighting on the second step, when you paint local lighting, you uh, you show the shape of this uh, element because it's one of the uh, rules how concept artists they paint the pictures. When they paint it, they draw the silhouette and they how uh, they show the shape of the uh, any object they uh, draw the uh, silhouette and they uh, they uh, should uh, show uh, the shadow and light you no know? so when you paint local shadow and light you uh, show the shape of this element it's not just about uh, lighting it's about the shape Else about extra colors. Uh, when you do your first base texas, you have to show these three extra colors, at least two. Also, when you uh, polish your texas in the decor, I painted this, you know, pointed uh, extra colors like this orange thing. And you have to, you should have two, two ways to paint extra colors. It's first, it's, it's soft gradients like shadow light and main color. 
and the second is pointed uh, extra colors. It's two ways and usually junior textures artists they forget about it and they just paint one or another. Usually they, they just painted pointed extra colors no, and forget about uh, some soft uh, color gradients. They uh, forget to make the shadow uh, with another color. It's, it's very interesting when you uh, do your shadow using another color or your lighting because when sun they when you have sun highlight you know it's uh, like a, a yellow color and your main object has like probably like blue metal so it's already two colors so don't forget to make two or three uh, uh, soft colors uh, gradients on your object if you didn't make it uh, during the base checks you can paint it by using overlay in the next steps because overlay it's it's very cool way to add extra colors using very very big soft brush this step I was very tired and uh, just uh, went home and uh, the next uh, the next day when I got back to the office uh, I decided to uh, improve my textures and it's very very important thing to finish a text by having fresh mind you know like that and uh, one thing I just clean up my edges clean up my some details my shadows uh, reduce the blur like places and for this specific uh, sword I decided to uh, make the blade textures closer to the concept and uh, make it a bit much, much flatter you know, with less contrast uh, I uh, reduced uh, very dark shadows and to keep uh, the blade like a race zone What's the difference between very expensive thing and very cheap? Uh, you know, sometimes it's it looks very like similar, but what's the main difference? It's the um, like edges or cavities, cavity places. When when, when uh, you have this, you no know, like uh, match uh, line, you know, uh, it's very expensive thing. It has very cool quality when uh, in connected places. And so I polished my textures in this connected scenes and po polished my shadows and polished uh, this whole scene. But sometimes it's not necessary, you know, when, when you are lazy and you are tired and it's some 
not very significant, uh, not focused place. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts. I would appreciate for any feedbacks. I'm looking forward for your progress. And if you did enjoy it, give a video like, subscribe to the channel, and see you for the next one. Bye.